Welcome back guys to our NCAA 14 Road to Glory in our junior season at Oklahoma. It is week number 12 and we are rematching the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Last year we did take them on as the starting quarterback and I think if I am correct and my stats are correct we won 28 to 6 so we beat them last year they had a better record coming into that game I think they were over 500 now they are 2 and 6 for this matchup so we are definitely looking to win here at Oklahoma again it's undefeated 8 and 0 and we are number 4 on the top 25 so barring the huge upset we should be pretty good for this game we are starting out the game though on a third down and 14 chucking down the checking the ball down the field and it is swatted away so we are wrapping up pretty much the end of the season and we are going to look to just try to get into the postseason uh, as, he as healthy as we can get. We're still trying to fight for um, a top spot um, in the national championship. We have, I think it's, it goes, Michigan is number one right now. And they have a pretty easy schedule coming out the year. I, I It would be shocking if they were not one, number one at the end of the year. Then it's Notre Dame who is facing, I think, number 23 ranked Iowa this week. And that is going to be interesting. Oh, I hope that they either lose or uh, maybe just not score a lot or something. And somehow we can take them over. And at number three is like, I, I don't even know what team it is. Um, I think it's Toledo. It's like a really sh just weird team that's undefeated from like a small conference. Definitely a team that just had a really easy season. And I think that they are also facing a ranked opponent. So we do have a chance to get to number two if we can or if we can display a dominant performance take them over even if they do stay undefeated but we will have to see what happens in this game we um, on third down in the red zone we don't end up getting it and we have to end up kicking the field goal Jimmy Clark nails that one for 28 yards something I haven't said in a while Jimmy Clark getting a field goal but he ends up getting that one so we lead the game three to zero and the Oklahoma defense comes up big with a sack they get those seven yards back. It's now third down and 10. And Dixon just tries to throw for it. And that sack is going to end up losing them six. So they have to punt. What I thought was interesting is that today at quarterback, they have Derek Dixon, the redshirt senior. Um, what I thought was interesting about last year, we had um, we were facing against Patrick Mahomes, who was a sophomore. So I thought maybe he would be starting in this game, but he's actually not. So maybe last year... Um, I, I don't know what happened. Maybe he was injured or maybe he he's injured right now because they had a better record last year. So I thought they would be going with the better quarterback or again, maybe he's injured right now. I don't really know what's going on there, but we have a senior quarterback at the um, at quarterback. Yeah. So but anyway, we have possession of the ball right now and we're going to pick up a third down and inches in the red zone to keep the drive alive. Hand off the Ross up the middle at a six touchdown game last week which is insane he got player of the week if i didn't say it last week but this time we're going to take the touchdown with the run and that's going to give us a rushing touchdown i don't think we've had one in a few weeks or i think that's only our second on the year so uh definitely moved away from running the ball a lot with those injuries that happened or i had like weird little injuries that happened last year or something i don't know but we're definitely moving away from running the ball and We've been pretty good. That was only our second rushing touchdown, if I am correct. So Texas Tech gets control over the ball. Derek Dixon drops back, and he was looking for P.L. Lindley, I guess, because that was thrown directly to him. And P.L. Lindley, our uh, senior linebacker, who's pretty much been leading this team, comes down with the interception to give Oklahoma another chance at the ball. We're going to take it for ourselves here, flip it back to Alex Ross, who gains a bunch of extra yards. We could have been selfish and took that for ourselves, but we decided to flip it back for the gain of the team. Now Alex Ross is going to pick up a free first down. So it's first down and 10. Hand off to him again. On the outside, he's going to gain 9. Only one more yard for the first down. We're going to chuck this one over the head of the defender to get it to Deron Neal. Come down with the pass. Now we're going to pitch it back to Keith Ford. I do think Paul James went out with an injury in the first quarter. I think I forgot to say that. But he ends up coming back a few plays later. As you can see, he's here right now. So the injury was minor. I think it was only for a few plays. But I missed it anyway. So now we're going to give it to another Jimmy Clark field goal, and he's now 2-2 two two on the day, so probably his best field goal percentage of the year so far, as he was, uh, if you go back and watch the other episodes, he is just was straight up awful, but 
He got that one from 23, the other one from 28. Maybe he finally realized what his job was on this team. But um, with that field goal, we're going to kick it off to Texas Tech. They got a few plays into the drive. They can they fail on the third down. They're going to go for it on fourth down, and they do not get it. That gives Oklahoma the ball with two and a half minutes left. Um, it's now third down and seven, looking to not go three and out. We get this one off to Sterling Shepard, come down with the pass to get the first down. So we're going to hand off the Ross up the middle. Has a clean field in front of him. Gets 11 on that carry. Now we're going to give it to him again up the middle. This time not as much uh, green grass in front of him. But the ball is on the ground. And um, we, we have been keeping the ball on the ground a lot, I noticed. But we feel this uh, third down we get. Um, we go for on fourth down and we easily get it. But it's raining in this game. And I thought it was weird that the game might actually recognize that it's uh, raining and that we're our coach has decided to call a lot more run plays because this entire game is just a lot and lot of running or maybe it's just because the running is working I don't know but either way it's pretty interesting how the computer is deciding to do all these run plays because it is working we actually go down on the injury that play and Trevor Knight comes into the game so let's see what happens with him on second down and goal he's gonna take off for himself and run into the end zone that could have been our touchdown but wasn't so Trevor Knight actually gets that touchdown, but spoiler alert, we come back for um, at the end of halftime. So it must have just been banging up the shoulder because I, uh, I was grabbing my shoulder if I am the quarterback, I guess. It's kind of weird to say, but my guy was grabbing the, the shoulder and we actually get sacked right there. So right after coming back after that injury, we get uh, thrown to the turf. So that was uh, weird, but we are good for now. It is now the second half. Texas Tech has control of the ball they have not scored any points here but they are gonna do that here as they get the ball off to Richie McKinley and he on like a, only a few play drive and that's gonna gain seven points for Texas Tech still down by 13 though so they need to uh, get it in gear if they want to try to challenge us so Oklahoma gets possession of the ball we're gonna hand off to Alex Ross who does a weird little animation but gains seven yards there second down and three Throw this one over to Donald Ostrander. Makes one guy miss and gets a bunch of extra yards. Does not, isn't able to get the stiff arm off, but still gains us a nice gain. So first down and 10. And off to Ross who gains five. So second down and five. We're going to take it for ourselves this time. Again, lots of running in this game. Lots of read options where we're typically not doing that. But now we're going to hand it off to Ross to try to get in the end zone, but he does not. Brings us really close though. So second down and goal. One of those guys are doing a weird little glitch there. But we're going to try to throw it over to Don Ostrander. That's a weird little uh, toe tip trying to stay in bounds, but he was pretty close to staying in bounds. And he just did not catch that. So we have to kick it again. And Jimmy Clark, 3 of 3 on the day. That one from 19 yards is still not that impressive for a kicker, but I don't know. He finally realized how to get the ball in the, between the goalposts. So can't say that I am... Uh, uh, mad at that I guess Texas Tech with control of the ball gets this one off to Wheeler he gains a first down second down and 10 they're already in the end zone Polite Bray comes down with that one first down and 10 with the goal line is the first down marker that one does not gain anything third down and goal let's see if they can get it here they're gonna chuck it up for Dylan Cantrell I don't know why I couldn't read that but that that's going to make it 23 to 14, so up by 9. Uh, weird score line, I guess. I don't know how we're only up by 9, but we have control of the ball again. So looking to make this lead bigger. Still up by 2 scores, so not anything major happening right now. Pass to Derek Woods over the middle. We're going to gain a first down. Now a handoff to Ross, and he has another wide open run up the middle for 8. Two yards left for this first down. We're going to take it for ourselves and easily get it. So they are doing just a pretty bad job at trying to cover us as the read options are working almost every single play and all the run plays we've been doing besides a few runs that I cut out they're just like nothing they have been the run game is just doing really well today so I guess that's why we're not passing the ball I see like five or six straight running plays and we just get it in there key forward on that rushing touchdown we're gonna go for two try to make it I think a three score game or something like that but we try to scramble up and we just get caught by one of the uh, linemen so that one did not work so up by 15 here Texas Tech needs to get something going 
Only a minute left in this third quarter. Dixon's going to drop back, chuck it up, and one of our guys comes down with the deflection to keep Texas Tech off the field. We're going to get possession of the ball after Duran Neal takes this one out. So our first play from scrimmage, we're going to pass this one over to Duran Neal, does a weird little back step, but still gets the first down nonetheless. So that's another first down. We're going to give this one off to Ross, who just gets another big gain of eight. Second down and two, we're going to take this one for ourselves, and again, just this read option, just switching up between the running back and ourselves, and it, they just can't stop it. Now we're going to find Derek Woods off the drag, and that one only gains about four. Second down and six, we're going to pass to Sterling Shepard, who gains the first down. That's the end of the third quarter. So opposite side of the field now, Alex Ross takes this one almost to the first down marker, but it's one yard shy. Just give it to him again. Does a that, that stiff arm literally threw that guy like 10 yards. I don't even know. But it's first down and go. We're going to pass this one off to the fullback, Philip Smith. For some reason, we don't have a third tight end, so he's always in that third tight end slot, and he's going to catch that touchdown. 36 to 14 is the scoreline here. Texas Tech needs something miraculous to happen to get back into this game. And Derek Dixon's going to try to run up in the pocket, but gets sacked. A few plays later, it's third down and six. There's a flag on the play. He's going to throw it to the sideline. Didn't look like he got it, but I think the hold it, or, or the offside is just going to give them a free first down. Derek Dixon now is going to throw it to Davis over the middle on second down to get it another first down. So it's second down and six. Dixon is sacked again. Third down and 19 after a holding penalty. And they're going to find Davis on the outside, so actually a third down conversion, what they've not been able to do pretty much at all in this game. And now it's going to be uh, Dixon to Davis again over the middle. First down and 10 inside the red zone. Dixon's going to throw on the outside to White, immediately met by a defender. Third down and 13. Dixon's going to throw in the end zone, and that's going to be Dominique Wheeler for the touchdown. But still... I think Texas Tech went for the two-point conversion and did not get it. They know that they need to get at least one, but it's still a two-possession game still. And we are going to be down with the sack, so second down and 18. Lots of yards to make up, and Gaines was just in the perfect position. Just a bad throw. Don't know what I was thinking, but Texas Tech has a good chance here to get back in this game. Again, it's only two-score lead, so they have a chance. And Dixon on first down and goal is going to find McKinley. And Richie McKinley is in for the touchdown. And after a holding penalty on the two-point conversion, they're going to go for it again instead of getting the free uh, point. Well, actually, they needed to do that. Never mind. But they failed the two-point. And that's going to lead to a 10... Oh, well, maybe they didn't need the two-point. But it's a 10-point lead. Don't know why they'd go for two when... Um, I don't know. Maybe they did. I can't even think right now. But we're still up by 10, three minutes left, so all we need to do is run out this clock, five seconds on the play clock, and we're going to take it for ourselves. Game three, second down and seven, hand off to Ross again. Just trying to run out their timeouts as they're starting to use them now. Third down and five, big third down. We're going to find Donald Ostrander. He comes down with the catch. Doesn't drop it like, well, that's in our other league actually, but second down and nine, we're going to run with it ourselves. Gain six, another third down here. A minute and 30 left. We need to convert here to try to keep it alive. We're going to pass this one to Alex Ross and just a one yard shy. Fourth down and one. We're going to go for it and the pressure comes too quickly. You might as well have gone for it because a punt wouldn't have really done anything. They get possession of the ball. They're going to try a deep pass and that one is deflected by an Oklahoma defender. Fourth down and one and Walker just straight up drops it. So that's going to be game over 36 to 26. And Oklahoma wins the game to keep the perfect season alive, 9-0. I hope you guys enjoyed this game, and I hope you guys will stick around for the future episodes. They might, it might be a few weeks before I upload the next episode as I am just swamped with finals work. But after that, well, it should be fine. So stick around till then, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.